Well, first I want to make it a place where my children are becoming better learners and I want to make a difference in my, not only my children's lives but my students' lives as well. If nobody cares, then you know, where does that leave us? And I think having somebody who cares makes, can make a difference not only in you know, your students' lives, but if you make a difference in one student's life, I think that, that says a lot. Okay, tell me about your decision to become a student member of the association. Um, I wanted to be able to better myself for my students and um, you know my own progression of learning and being a lifelong learner because that's what you are as a teacher and um, the CEA provides that it provides development and the ability for me to learn not only about what's happening um, for teachers but students as well. Okay. So, uh, final question, just give me your thoughts of uh, what you're learning up there today and why it's important to, to gather here with your fellow members. Um, I think that it's important because without this knowledge, it can leave me not being an advocate for myself and understanding what we're doing and what's going on in the districts and federally and state levels. I think that it, it'll make a big difference in how I teach and who I am as a person in the classroom. What have you heard up there today? Is there any, any kind of particular subject that was covered or anything that was kind of like, wow, that's surprising or I'm going to use that? Uh, well, a lot of it was over like assessments. Like some, I heard something really surprising that one district was introducing 33 new assessments and I just, I just think that's, <laughs> it blows my mind that, that they can put students through that many assessments I don't think is, you know, as necessary as some might believe.